Calvin. 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 Hey, I need your help. Echo, you scared me. I, I, I can't help. I'm, I'm busy. What are you listening to? Nothing important. Good. Then you can help me with the experiment. Come on. I, I don't know. The last time you asked me to help you with an experiment, I lost my eyebrows. Okay, that was a one-time thing. It's actually a 35.6 time thing, which is remarkable considering you are so young. Okay, I promise nothing bad will happen. It's just bigness. Spirit, what do you think? I think this looks like a bad idea, and I don't even have eye circuits. I don't think so, Echo. Please, bro, it won't be bad. I promise. Fine, but I know I'll regret this. Yet he does this anyway. Okay, put I this on. Don't think that this is a good idea. That's fine. It's Sorry not. I don't know. I don't. I don't yeah. think it's gonna work. I think. Oh, oh okay. no. Oh yes. Okay. Oh. How powerful is this thing? I don't know. I haven't tested it. That's why I need your help. You never tested it. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, I should have known. I could have told you that there was a 100% probability rate that this was exactly how it would turn out. But it worked. Awesome. Why did you need to make this? Because magnets are cool. Duh. Oh, that was a complete waste of time. You could look at it as a bonding moment with your sister. Nope. I'm gonna stick with waste of time. Ooh, boy. It, it's gone. It, it's all gone. She erased everything. Ah, it must have been the magnets. Erased what, Mr. Calvin? Everything on my phone. Perhaps I can fix it. Scanning. I'm sorry. All files are deleted. I can't believe Echo did this. I believe this was an accident. You don't get it, Spirit. This phone had a voicemail from my mom on it. It was her last message to me before she died. I'm sorry, Mr. Calvin. I have to get back at Echo for this. I would advise the best course of action is to forgive. Getting revenge will only make things worse. Getting revenge will let her know never to do this again. I see you are still trying to get your revenge. Yes. How will you get this revenge? Dump garbage on her head. Would you like to know what will happen? Spirit! I didn't know you could see the future! No, not at all. But I can calculate. You will do something, and Echo will do something bigger to get back at you. And then you will do something even bigger. It will go on, and 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 on. Okay, I get it. Revenge never ends. So what do I do? You can forgive. But, but then Echo gets away with it. But forgiving can also help make your relationship stronger. This seems impossible. I don't think I can do it. Spirit. Show me someone who forgave. Scanning. Here is a person from the Bible who forgave. His name was Esau. Tell me more about Esau. Esau was the firstborn son of one of the most powerful men in the Bible, Isaac. Okay, and why is that important? Back then, being firstborn meant you got a lot of things. Blessings, inheritance, it was a very big deal. Spirit, what does this have to do with forgiveness? Well, Esau's younger brother, Jacob, was jealous that Esau got all of those things. Oh no, so the younger brother is going to do something to get them? Yes. Please continue. Jacob decided that the only way to get his brother's inheritance was to trick him. That's awful. How'd he trick him? Jacob knew that his brother was going to be out hunting all day, and when he came back, he would be starving. How is that a trick? Jacob was going to take advantage of his brother's hunger, and offer him soup in exchange for his inheritance. Okay, time out, time out. Did Esau fall for that? Yes. 
So he gave up everything for a bowl of soup. Yes, he was very hungry. Wow, Jacob was so mean. That's what Esau thought too, and he vowed to get revenge. I can't wait to hear how Esau gets revenge. Continue the story. Jacob knew his brother was mad, so he went into hiding. He left his family and everything he loved to get away from his brother. How long did he go away for? Many, many, many years. That's sad. So the brothers never talked again? I didn't say that. So Esau got his revenge? I didn't say that either. Spirit, you are driving me crazy. So what happened? Years later, Jacob had grown older, become rich, and had a large family. One day, when they were traveling, they ran into Esau. Oh no, Esau's gonna hurt Jacob, isn't he? That's what Jacob thought too. He was petrified. There was nowhere to run. He had to face his brother. Is this where Esau gets revenge? No. Then what was the point of telling me the story? You wanted to know about forgiveness. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. Tell me. Jacob decided that he would give Esau a series of gifts that would hopefully make him happy. Did Esau want them? He did not. In all that time apart, Esau forgave his brother. He didn't want gifts. He was just happy to see his brother again. So they made up. Yes. Even though Esau had every right to be angry for losing something very valuable, he realized his relationship with his brother was more valuable than that. Echo, look out! <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Revenge, or at least trying to get revenge. Why? What did I do? N nothing. It's, it's not important. You erased a voicemail from his mother. Kelvin, I I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Uh, Spirit, can you fix it? Unfortunately, even I have limitations. Let me see what I can do. Maybe we can fix it together. Okay. I think we may find something here. It may be in the cloud. Thank you! Thank Wait, what's the cloud? No one really knows. It's like a mist that holds info. By the way, thanks for warning me about the garbage. Why are you thanking me? I'm the one who tried to get you with it. But you warned me anyway. I love you, bro, and I'll be more careful next time. And that's what I call a teachable moment. <laughs> <laughs>